In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a free custom email address with no strings attached. A custom email through Google or Microsoft can be costly, but I found a solution that's free forever. This is not just a free trial. So first, I want to quickly clarify that I'll be showing you how to set up free custom email hosting. You'll be able to set up an email address on your own domain name, like your name at yourwebsite.com, but you will have to purchase a domain name for this to work. Unfortunately, there's no way to get a free domain name name other than claiming a subdomain, which I talk about more in this video. But a custom subdomain email doesn't look professional. It really defeats the entire purpose of creating a custom email you'd be better off with a free Gmail address. So, assuming you want a conventional domain name like yourwebsite.com, you'll have to purchase one. Thankfully, you can get a .com domain for around $11 a year at Porkbun, which I'll show you later in the video, and this is the only expense you'll incur to run your custom email. If you've looked into getting a custom email before, you've likely seen that custom emails from Google or Microsoft are around $70 a year, and they can get even more expensive depending on your needs. Previously, I was a fan of Skiff Mail for the free plan that allowed custom domains, but sadly, Skiff was acquired by Notion and shut down. So these days, the best solution for free custom email hosting is Zoho Mail. Zoho has a forever free plan that offers up to 5 users per domain, 5 gigabytes of storage per user, and a 25 megabyte attachment limit. The main downside is that Zoho's free plan limits your email access to the Zoho web app and the Zoho mobile apps. This means you will not be able to use IMAP and SMTP to link to an email client. However, you'll still have a fully functioning custom email address for free. I'll cover some affordable paid alternatives at the end of the video if you need IMAP and SMTP, but first, let me show you how to create a custom email with Zoho. The first step is to register your domain name. You can get a domain from many places, but I would highly recommend Porkbun. I've registered the majority of my domains at Porkbun over the years because of their rock bottom prices, and they were kind enough to sponsor this video. A .com domain costs around $11 a year to renew at Porkbun, and you can get a dollar off the first year using my promo code Krayler Domains. And by the way, if you've already registered a domain, it may be worth transferring to Porkbun. You won't lose any time by moving it over, and Porkbun is almost always cheaper than other registrars. They also have amazing customer support. You can get a dollar off domain transfers as well with promo code CMTRANSFER. Just remember to apply the promo code after adding the transfer to your cart. I've added my domain to my cart, so I'll click the apply coupon button and enter my promo code. This is the promo code for new domains, but if you're transferring a domain, you'll have to use this CM transfer code. I've got all the promo codes in the description below. After that, I'll proceed to check out and enter my billing details. One of the things I love about Porkbun is that everything you need is included. Who is protection, SSL certificates, email forwarding, and URL forwarding are all included for free. Now that you have your domain name secured, we can move on to setting up Zoho Mail. Head over to Zoho Mail using the link below and click the pricing tab. Scroll down until you see the forever free plan and click sign up now. Then enter your name and email address. And just to clarify, this email address needs to be an existing email. This is not the custom email address we're trying to create. It's gonna use this email address for account activation, so enter one that you already have access to. Then you can enter your password, agree to the terms, and sign up. After that, you can enter the verification code sent to your email and click verify. Once you're in the setup wizard, go ahead and click add now under add an existing domain and enter your domain name. You can also provide your organization name and the industry type is required as well, though it doesn't say it is. If you try to proceed without it, it gives you an error message. I'll click add now. Great, it's successfully added, so now we can proceed to domain verification. I'm going to copy this TXT record, then I'm going to go back to the Porkbun dashboard. Scroll down and hover over your domain, and then click the DNS link. If you're using a different domain registrar, look for the settings to get to the DNS editor in the dashboard. Here, I'm going to select TXT for type, host, I'm going to leave blank, and answer, I'm going to paste in what I copied from Zoho, and click add. Let's go back to Zoho and click verify TXT record and verification failed. Let's go ahead and give it a few minutes and then we'll try again. This is relatively common when you're verifying DNS records. Sometimes it does not update instantly. So if you get this error message, just try again in a minute or two and it usually works. 
I tried again about 15 seconds later and my domain was verified successfully. Now it's time to create the main email address on your domain. This is the super administrator with additional access to add users and change settings for your organization. This is most likely going to be your name at yourdomain.com, but you could also use a setup like admin at domain.com or info at domain.com if desired. Just keep in mind that Zoho Mail is limited to five users per domain in the free version. And if you'd like to add additional users, you can do that right now, but don't worry, you can manage users at any time in the admin console. I'll show you how to do that later in the video. So for now, I'm just going to proceed to setup groups. You can create groups to help organize users in Zoho Mail. I'm not going to get into the specific productivity features of Zoho in this video, but you can explore this feature after setup if you want. For now, I'll click proceed to DNS mapping and copy the additional DNS records to Porkbun. Make sure to pay special attention to the priority numbers under the MX records. I'll start with the first MX record. For type, this is going to be MX and host we're going to leave blank. Some DNS records will not allow you to leave the host blank, so if they require you to enter something, just enter the at symbol. At Porkbun, it is possible to leave the host blank, and leaving it blank versus entering the at symbol are basically the same thing, but since we're not required to enter something, I'll go ahead and leave that blank, and then paste the MX record under answer. And don't forget the priority, that's very important. The priority on the first record is 10. I'll click add. Then I'll go back to Zoho and copy the second record, this time with a priority of 20. And same thing, host is gonna be blank. And I'll click add. And then finally, I'll go copy the third MX record. And this time the priority is going to be 50. And our host is still gonna be blank. After the three MX records, we have this TXT record, and that is also on the host of at or blank. So we need to change type from MX to TXT, and host is blank. There's our answer, I'll click add. And then finally, we have a TXT record that has a unique host. So let's start with the host. Record type is TXT, paste the host in here. And then let's go back to Zoho and copy our answer value and paste it here and click add. And in Porkbun, you can go ahead and scroll down and verify that all the DNS records are as expected. So I see my three MX records here with the three priorities. I see our first verification record and then the second TXT record. And then I can see the mail key that we just added here as well. So everything looks great. I'm just gonna click verify all records. And same thing as earlier, if it tells you that it was unable to verify the record, just wait a few minutes and try again. And if you're still waiting for the DNS verification, you can use that time to hit that subscribe button. It's free to subscribe and click the bell and you'll be notified when I publish new videos. After the records have been verified, click proceed to email migration. If you're migrating an existing email, just click start data migration and choose from Google Workspace, Microsoft, IMAP, POP, or whatever setup your email is using. The wizard will have you enter your login credentials for your old email, then it will automatically migrate your data. I'm setting mine up as a new email, so I'm gonna to proceed to go mobile without finishing the data migration. Next, you'll be reminded to download the Zoho mobile apps if you'd like, and you can click proceed to setup completion. Now you can check out your inbox and you'll be taken to the web app for Zoho Mail. Everything should be good to go, but it may be worth sending a test email to make sure everything is functioning as expected. If you want to access the admin console to manage users or make policy adjustments for your organization, you can do that by clicking your profile picture and clicking admin console. Here you can add or remove users, and you can also access mail settings and security settings. The obvious limitation of Zoho Mail's free plan is you can't connect your inbox to an email app. If you're willing to use Zoho's web apps and official mobile apps, this won't be a problem. But what if you want a custom email you can connect to any app? If you need this functionality, you'll have to pay for a solution. But there are still some relatively affordable options. First, you could upgrade to the Zoho Mail Lite plan for $12 a year per user. You can also upgrade to 10 gigabytes of storage for $15 a year per user. You could also give Porkbun's email hosting a try. Each domain registered at Porkbun comes with 15 days of free email hosting so you can try it out. Then it's $24 a year per inbox. 
Porkbun is offering Crayler Made viewers 50% off your first year of email hosting with the promo code in the description, bringing the first year to $12. The renewal price of $24 is still well below common email hosts like Google and Microsoft, and you can enjoy the convenience of managing your domains and email hosting in one place. And finally, for an ultra-budget option, check out Purely Mail. Purely Mail is a new, no-frills email host coming in at just $10 a year per inbox. This is a bare-bones email provider, but it may be exactly what you're looking for if you want IMAP-compatible email hosting on the cheap. But no matter which email provider you land on, you can save on your domains at Porkbun. Thanks again to Porkbun for sponsoring this video, and don't forget to use the promo codes below to get a dollar off your domain. After setting up your free custom email, you may be wondering about web hosting. Is it possible to host a website for free? Actually, yes. I made an entire video about it that you can check out here.